Hello there. We're looking at the Memphis Les Paul copy. And the quality of this guitar, the condition of this guitar, is actually very nice for its age. I suspect that it's late 70s Japanese. And you see it is not a bolt-on neck. It is fixed in there. And the Memphis logo on the headstock. Changed out the tuners with Grover Deluxe tuners. When this guitar came in, it was missing one of the tuners. And I could not find a matching set or right, ones that matched the existing um, hole spacing. And so I just replaced it, drew new hole, drilled new holes in the back there, so there are some extraneous holes. That's on neck. That's on bridge. That's both. Action's probably just a little higher than I would like, but uh, if anything, I think it can come down a little bit, or the neck could be relieved just a little bit more, or uh, straightened a little bit more, I should say. Let's hear what it sounds like with distortion. Playing through an inexpensive solid state. Fender frontman. Bridge. If anything, I feel like the intonation could be a little bit improved, the action could be lowered just a little bit, but I think it's a lot of guitar for the price. You can see that the original price was $385, um, and, I, and I think it's less than $285 now on the um, reverb list. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, this is the Memphis Les Paul copy.